it's just you read it. Okay. We wrote we wrote a teen sex comedy. Okay, here's what you did in '84. No, okay, but here's what you guys had, and we know this because it was directed by and it was like he's taping this. I'm that's great. Is that okay? Because I was going to interview him. No, no. I'm just saying. I think that it was like I think the part of the timing. Also, it doesn't hurt that it's fucking hilarious. It's really good and it's infused with a lot of heart and all of that. But it's very sex positive, female forward, all of those sort of buzzwords things, which is like the proper timing. I do think that that sort of helped inform it. You know what I mean? Um, but everybody's playing tag now. Trump was playing tag with Kim this weekend. Oh. That, I mean, that's a real thing. For that reason alone, it's dropping 20%. Are you kidding? Critics are all liberals. They're not going to like that. And I, by the way, if that's yeah. the reason why we lose 20 points, I'm all for it. Fuck that guy. So actually, that makes sense. there it is. If we end up getting a, yeah, if we end up getting a sacrifice. If we end up getting a 54, I'll just say it's because Trump tagged Kim Jong-un. Oh. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot going on this week, too. But I was going to ask you guys, did you guys know that Cena was going to get cast uh, when you were writing it, or was that oh, later? No. no. We wrote the movie yeah. in 2012. Oh, yeah, and we were that's think, a while. Yeah, we were not thinking John Cena at all. That was definitely a cast against type. He wasn't situation. even acting probably back then. He was doing no, wrestling. No, he hadn't done, up. I don't think he'd done anything. He Nobody knew who he was. Uh, he, he was doing, uh, he did Daddy's Home 1 and 2 oh, cameos in that. Oh, I see. Uh, and I think he did uh, Sisters. With, did you? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's way after Yeah, that's we way, but just cameos. That was like... Yeah, we Did you guys, uh, when you wrote it, did you have any actors in mind? I think we had... I think we talked... Yeah, we t- We talked about Philip Seymour Hoffman at the time. No oh, way! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dark he would have been, been terrible. Um, <laughs> he would have uh, been a mess. <laughs> yeah. Well, he would have been a corpse. Which is not good. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's just... Yeah. Very, very bad. That's don't, right. play, don't play this. Part. I will edit this uh, out for sure. We talk about this. This is the this is the this is the gem. This is the high watermark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like here's how things go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, yeah. it, um, in yeah. terms of like who we were thinking about for the movie. Yeah. I mean, in 2012, we were probably like, that's it's hard to think back. But we were probably thinking about Owen Wilson. It's probably who we were I could have about, seen that you know? totally. You know, yeah. at the time he was Owen Wilson is probably somebody. We talked about Paul Giamatti at one point. Um, who's John C. Riley? John C. Riley. We talked for about Cena's role, for the, the Cena one. role. Yeah, and yeah, he was kind of the, the way we originally wrote the Cena role. It was kind of like a schlubby, yeah. schlubby guy, and it was sort of cast against type. And yeah, I mean, he, he's he got totally good changed. comedic timing, though. I'm surprised. Oh, for, I mean, he's been in the ring for years. Cena. I've been followed his wrestling really whole thing, but. That guy Very knows good. how to work a camera and like oh, he yeah. knows the moments. You yeah, know I mean, where, clearly yeah. there there is an overlapping skill set there. You know what yeah, I mean? obviously you see the rock oh, and yeah. how good he is, and uh, John Cena's comedic timing. Because there's Batista. a ton of improvisation up there, right? Tons like, I mean, of it's not, body no, well, Absolutely. here's the thing: they get scripts, yeah, they and everything. the good, you know, the, the ones that you trust, like a Cena, he can improvise his scripts. Uh, other wrestlers need to stick to the script, right. so yeah. their writers gotta, you know. But Cena's and Rock earned their way with their own, you know, Absolutely. stuff. To, and they, they were yeah. throwing lines out to Cena, yeah. And he was just doing the lines, running through, you know, a bunch of alts and stuff. Yeah, he was, he was awesome. He was yeah. so good. Yeah, just like naturally, you know, charismatic type of guy. So yeah. and that yeah. works. I mean, you need that stuff, Cena you know. For yeah. and he, I mean. To think about him as a father, you know, too, like he fits it as like, like right. a young father too. In in a weird way, he fits that character. You know, oh, you, know, yeah. you oh, think yeah. it was like this macho guy, the wrestler, yeah. but like he's like forty too. Yeah. So it's like well, the you way know, they dressed yeah. him and everything. Was yeah. So oh great. yeah. You know, the it was costume, great. The wardrobe was so good. Yeah. And it really like really lent uh, to that character. But yeah, he pulled it all. He was really really. Great. Did you guys ever think about having a different? I mean, the movie name sells itself. You know, yeah. obviously with the, the the symbol and stuff. But was there any consideration? Did you guys ever for any, consider a different yeah. name for the movie? That's a great Great we question. We did. Yes, the, the script was actually called Cherries when we sold it. Oh, so, pop and cherry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yes. That uh, works. No, yeah. no, no surprise that the studio changed. It. <laughs> um, but yeah, we were not expecting that that would be the title when uh, when it went into production. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, they kicked around a few names when it was uh, in production. They called it the Pact. Oh. Okay, that's like a PG way. Blockers is better. Blockers is better. Especially with the rooster thing. Yeah, you know, rooster, that really that hyped up. That sells it. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, and I then, so you had it four, I mean, what, six years you were holding it. Yeah. You got, how many years. revisions did you guys do revisions along the way? Or uh, like, yeah, really? like a lot of them. A lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it changed quite a bit from uh, from the original drafts of the script. 
Yeah, we worked on it a lot, and then we went through a, a bunch of different people came on board, and oh yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, it changed quite a bit from the original draft to the to the final final product. I mean, you guys think this is a movie I could even you could work on a sequel out? I mean, I know there's a lot of sequels going, but oh yeah, I think there's yeah. definitely sequel possibilities. Yeah. I think that really depends on how it does, you know, on on Ten DVD. Tenfold Ten possibilities. I yeah, think it on, I think so. Big yeah. time. Yeah. Tenfold. Um, yeah, it depends on how it does. You could always spin it off to like the the friends' kids or something. Someone coming up in age, and you know they're kind of advising. I kind of like did with neighbors, you right. know, in that way, where Zac yeah. Efron's character comes back, and you know he's yeah. now like the old statesman. Over but, there. but hopefully, yeah. good. Yeah. 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 yeah, it could be. <laughs> well, <laughs> it could be. It could be edit that out too. It could be um, the the parents go to the college to, to you know to right. hang out with the kids, and then the parents get involved in something, and then the kids have to block them from something they're doing. Yeah. Have you started thinking? Have you guys like, started kicking around a little I, bit? That was just oh I don't know. No, just I, came up with that. Okay, yeah. Don't write it. No, um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna block you guys. <laughs> I've got a couple ends on Universal. I know there you go. People, you know, I like that you guys actually did the the multiracial thing for you know the couple too. You know, it kind of fits the mold of like a real family in today's day and age. Was that something that was from the start of consideration, or you guys changed? No, along we the didn't way? write. You know, like we didn't write anything in the script that was yeah. specific about particular you know races or anything yeah. like that. I think that was more in the casting, but. Um, you know, very smart. It, it was good. They did yeah, a great. Yeah, job. I thought it was, it was very great. modern. It really you know? is impeccably cast. It yeah, really they really cast is. it top to bottom. The cast was awesome. Like no complaints about that. I mean, they really did a fantastic job there. And I think and like uh, the kids, like I heard you say, I mean, they're fucking badass. They were you know, amazing, like, amazing. all of them. Yeah. And when you write dialogue for like, you know, uh, how old were they? Were they older than their age, or kind of? Were they cast them Just actually slightly older? Yeah, slightly older, because it seems older. like they wouldn't be that much older. But, yeah, but yeah. not like Greece. You know, or like, like 902 and 0. Yeah, yeah, they're 30. They're not 32. Years or like old, back yeah, in the 902 and 0, it's like yeah, exactly, 35 right. years old. We're age 16. Right. You know that right. stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that. Like, does it change the way you write dialogue? It's like, you, does it ever affect you? Like, oh, I'm writing for a younger person. You know, with like vulgar language and stuff like that. Or you just kind of go with it. Or, oh no, I mean yeah. young people. That's how they talk. Yeah, I mean, that's they, I yeah, like that. Don't... It's so authentic. That's yeah. the authentic shit I like. You know. Yeah, because people talk like this, like, oh, it's too, pe you know, rated R, but, like, yeah. everyone talks like that. That's how kids talk, and that's yeah. how everybody talks. That's how my six-year-old talks. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. I mean, you can't avoid it, really. Life. You know, yeah. you go into a movie Do you theater. swear in front of your kids? Oh, constantly. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, I never, it's so weird. I've had this, like, I never, my mom never swore in front of me. I, like, I swear all the time. My mom. It changed, my mom, I think, my over mom, the years. My mom is fucking foul. Okay, she is. I just know. I just edit know. this out. Edit yeah, this out. she is a foul human being. But it, I can count on one hand the number of times that we have ever swore in front of each other. It's just this weird, like, oh, ground it's rules. This old school thing. mentality yeah. that you're, like, showing their kids a bad example. But, like, yeah. now well, it's you're like. You're very religious, too, so. Yeah, no, that's not that's true at all. Yeah, my mom. <laughs> my, my, I think my uh, as a as a when I was a baby, yeah. my mom used to blow smoke in my face to pacify me. Just, yeah, like that was yeah. her. Yeah, that was her method. Yeah, it worked. But, uh, what kind of smoke? Cigarette smoke. Okay. Yeah, so it's fine. It's, it's all in the head. The cloud. It's was, like the smog in your head. Right, now. No, no, I was like, envisioning a whole different thing. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. But it was Which marble. Would explain a lot. But it was but marble <laughs> red. So okay. Like, yeah. No filter. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, oh, well, what other ways mom was foul besides the swearing? Is there any other way? I mean, all whatever you think, the yeah. answer is yes. Wow. wow. I, yeah. think, I think we yeah. can come up with a lot of I hope she doesn't get this channel. I yeah. hope she does. I hope that she sees this. Does she play mom. tag, though, yeah. back in the day? Yeah, I mean, yeah, so she, she played her own version of tag. Yeah. <laughs> No, I guess, so she was a promiscuous woman. It's absolutely wow. true. I can't get wow. on it. True. She's fine. She'll, 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 she'll tell you. Truth. I mean, wow. But you grow out of that over years. It's all coming out. Yeah. Yeah. So not, yeah. She, uh, yeah, like uh, my um, my stepfather died about uh, maybe two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry. That's a buzzkill. Yeah, buzz I mean, kill. no, 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 you're missing the whole point of okay. it. It, was, it ended up being a real net positive. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, no. well, back on track. No, yeah, no, it ended up being really, really good. Because she was just like, she's like, she got all the money, and now she doesn't have to be in this loveless relationship. And, all and that. yeah, I just love that because it's better. It sounded like a downer? Yeah. No, 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 yeah, no, this is a, it's a, this is a, a mini no, thank you. No, thank you. Burial or cremation? Um, I, I didn't stay around for that. Yeah, I didn't have time. I didn't have time for that. But yeah, wow. uh, yeah, one of those. Wow. And uh, and then uh, and either way, he's gone. Right. So there's no bringing. Yeah, does it matter? And then she started dating a guy who's like in his early 30s, and she's like, no way. Yeah, old, younger than me. Good for her. 
good yeah. for her. I, I mean, asking, that, that is, that, that's for that's that. Yeah. yeah. I keep asking her, I, 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 I asked her, again, because I just wanted, like, because I've made a lot of veiled, you know, sort of references to her being, uh, to being a promiscuous slut or whatever, but, um, but so, yeah, she, I wanted to ask her, because when their relationship inevitably failed, which of course it did, yeah. um, I just wanted her to, like, after the fact, reach out to him and just be like, hey, so what... Rob wants to know what happened what to you. Uh, yeah. What? Who what did what to you? Uh, uh, what did your grandmother do to you? Uh, 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 yeah. What did what did, did Mima? She what did she wouldn't? She I wanted. Wouldn't it, yeah, she wouldn't do it. She wouldn't do it because she wants to leave the door open in case it, it ever it comes, comes back, back around. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't uh, want to kill that. You know, wishful kill thinking for that. Well, but that's yeah. LA. That's a, this is the kind of she's stuff. Not I'm, in LA. No, she's Florida. no, she's pure Florida. Yeah, really? Yeah, that's not LA. No, but Florida. By the way, it's got its fair share. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. More than foulness. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, damn.